Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the car. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit about technical debt because I feel like people only ever talk about technical debt in a negative light. Um, you hear people saying, oh, we have all this technical debt that we need to clean up. Um, and you rarely hear about how people get into technical debt or why. It's always just this, this bad thing that happened that you have to do something about. And I think it's important to, to recognize that um, technical debt, just like financial debt, is a tool um, that you can use responsibly and carefully to um, acquire and achieve things that you, you don't otherwise have the resources for. Um, and uh, a good example of that is something that I do very frequently in Serenity, which is to, to build out sort of these sketch frameworks, um, which are um, largely incomplete APIs that allow me to, to build some application, for example. Um, so a lot of the framework code in Serenity early on was, was very much scaffolding. Um, and the, the point of building the frameworks was so that we could build another framework on top and another framework on top of that and keep stacking that way so that we could eventually build the application that we wanted. And um, it wasn't until later that a lot, of, a lot of framework functionality started to get actually filled in and implemented. And um, one thing is that when you're stacking like abstraction on top of abstraction like that, building your layers, then um, if you don't have all the information, uh, it's very easy to to make like a bad decision, uh, maybe a bad implementation detail decision or an API decision or whatever. And that's tends to be the type of technical debt that, that I accumulate in Serenity uh, because like I was saying, I'm just building things rapidly on top of each other and when you do that you don't you don't get to find out all the little details and, and learn all the little um, requirements and stuff uh, you discover those later and then you have to go and um, you know nice things up but uh, but but the point of, of what I'm trying to say is that this is something that that I do knowingly and uh, I take on that debt because it allows me to build that, those applications. So, for example, something like the, um, the profiler in Serenity. It's, um, it's really awesome that the system can, can profile itself, right? And you can get like these pretty sophisticated um, CPU sampling time profiles. And a lot of that is built on uh, pretty rickety foundation, like the, the sampling mechanism in the kernel has some really rough edges, and um, a lot of the GUI stuff has some really rough edges. Um, the tree view, for example, I've just recently been going over uh, model view stuff in libgui and fixing up a lot of rough stuff um, that has just been waiting to get fixed forever. And it's really nice to, to go through things like that. But uh, whenever I'm working on cleaning up technical debt, I never feel resentful towards uh, making these bad decisions in the past or, or having to do this work. To me, it's, it's um, very satisfying because uh, when I work on something like that, um, it just makes me reflect on all of the great things that I was able to do because of the, the debt that I took on. Um, and I think I think it's a it's it's a good attitude to have about technical debt. Um, so at, at least at least if if you're the if you're the person who creates the debt, right? Then then it's it's pretty easy to adopt this attitude. I think uh, if you're in a project with other people and other people are doing this, that's I guess that's pretty common. People feel that way that. That oh, I if only everybody would do things my way, then then we wouldn't have all this technical debt. That's another classic. Um, I, I think there are ways around that too, but that's more of a social problem than a technical problem, and uh, that's an entirely different talk. Uh, anyways, I guess I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this today because 
Uh, I've been doing a lot of tech debt cleanup lately because I have not been able to record at home uh, for quite a while, um, and um, I've been I've been taking the opportunity since I'm not making videos every day uh, to do some some like tech debt cleanup busy work. And I made a video about it, but I've been doing like a lot of grunt work. Some of some of the stuff I'm really happy with. Uh, just today, I um, implemented row headers for table views, something that I've been meaning to do forever, and I just kept pushing it forward. And now that uh, Ali has started building out a spreadsheet for Serenity, um, obviously we, we have to make the row headers visible and clickable because because he had this thing where like the first column of the spreadsheet had uh, numbers from like uh, 1 through 9999 or whatever and that's how the row headers were implemented they were just a, a column so I got that fixed and it's nice and now there are all these other things I, I want to do in the table view code to make make the spreadsheet better so that's really awesome like I'm so stoked that um, that he started building out a spreadsheet of all things because suddenly out of nowhere appears this reason to, um, to like greatly improve the um, table view code. And I, I had no plan to work on the table view code and suddenly, oh, here's a great reason to. So <laughs> I'm really grateful uh, to Ali for, for starting on that. And I gotta say like, it's it's been, absolutely nice lately in the project. I feel like there are a whole bunch of people right now who are just in the zone, like working on things that they enjoy, uh, that seems to be quite fulfilling for them. And I'm really stoked that, that so many of you are doing that, uh, if you're listening, because it's just, that's how the best stuff is made. Um, I, that's what I always believe that just the, the absolute best stuff is made by people when they're working on something that just really interests them, right? So that's really kick-ass. And although I, I have been a bit less active than usual myself this month, there's so much good stuff happening. And I'm kind of looking, looking, really looking forward to making the monthly video so I can show it all off. Um, it's really, really exciting stuff. Anyways, um, I hope everybody's doing all right out there. Just wanted to make a, a little video about tech debt, just because it's been on my mind as I've been fixing some of the related stuff. And it's good to, to decompress a bit and do stuff like that. And then we can get ready for a new swing we take on the new debt eventually. We'll see what that is. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me in the car. And I'll see you next time. Bye.